Dear students, I hope you all are doing well. This is your math teacher Shweta Bajaj. Now students, in this video we are going to continue with the chapter number 9, Basic Concepts of Geometry. Before starting, subscribe my channel if not subscribed yet and don't forget to share and like the video. And please mention your name, class and section in the comment box for attendance. Now in a previous video, we discussed about the triangles and quadrilaterals and we have completed our exercise 90. Now students in our today's video we are going to learn about the circle and its related terms and we will complete our exercise 9e. So let's start. So what is a circle? A circle is a closed curve which is not a polygon. A circle is a closed path taken by a point such that its distance from a fixed point always remains the same. The fixed point here in the figure is shown to you and that point is P and this P is called the center of the circle. And students examples of circle are chapati, pizza, coin, moon etc. Hopefully, it is clear to you. Next topic is interior and exterior of a circle. And students, one circle is shown here. And in this, P, O, X and P are the points in the interior of the circle. M, A and B are the points lying outside the circle. R, N and Q are the points lying on the boundary of the circle. Hopefully, it is clear to you. Next topic is circumference. And circumference is the distance around the circle. It is also known as the perimeter of the circle. Next topic is diameter. And it is the distance from the circle through the circle center to the circle on the opposite side and diameter is the double of radius that means diameter is equal to 2 multiplied by radius. Next topic is radius. It is the distance from the center of the circle to the circle and radius is half of diameter that means radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. Hopefully, it is clear to you. And the formula of circumference of circle is C is equal to 2 pi R. Where R is the radius of the circle and C is the circumference. Next topic is semicircle. Semicircle is half part of a circle. When a circle is divided by its diameter, the two equal parts are called semicircles. And the blue shaded region in the image represents a semicircle. Hopefully, it is clear to you. Next topic is perimeter of a semicircle. In a semicircle, the perimeter is made up of half the circumference or arc of the circle and the diameter of the circle. So perimeter is equal to half multiplied by 2 pi r plus d or perimeter is equal to pi r plus d. Hopefully it is clear to you. Next topic is quadrant and it says that quadrant is half a semicircle or one quarter of a full circle. Next topic is perimeter of a quadrant and in a quadrant the perimeter is made up of quarter of the circumference or arc of the circle and the two radius of the circle. That means perimeter is equal to 1 by 4 of 2 pi r plus 2 r and that is equal to pi r upon 2 plus 2 r. Hopefully it is clear to you. Next topic is arc 
and it says that an arc of a circle is a part of the circumference of the circle and the symbol of an arc is shown here now arc is of two types first is minor arc and minor arc is an arc that is smaller than a semicircle and are named by their end points and here in the figure ab is a minor arc next is major arc major arc is an arc that is larger than a semicircle and are named by their end points and a point on the arc here acb is a major arc hopefully it is clear to you next topic is what is a chord a chord is a segment with end points on a circle for example in the given figure ab is a chord any chord divides a circle into two arcs a diameter divides a circle into two semicircles any other chord divides a circle into a minor arc and a major arc The diameter of the circle is the longest chord of any circle since it passes through the center. Here AOB is the diameter of the circle and AB is the diameter which is the longest chord of the circle. A diameter satisfies the definition of a chord. However, a chord is not necessarily a diameter. This means that every diameter is a chord but every chord is not a diameter because if you will see here gh is also a chord but gh is not a diameter as it is not passing through the center of the circle hopefully it is clear to you next topic is segment and it says that the region enclosed by a chord and the arc subtended by the chord is called a segment of the circle each chord divides a circle into two segments the diameter divides a circle into two equal halves called semicircles every other chord divides the circle into two unequal segments which are called the major segment and the minor segment chord ab divides the circle into adb which is the major segment and acb which is the minor segment hopefully it is clear to you next topic is secant and it says that a line passing through a circle and intersecting the circumference of the circle at two points is called the secant of a circle the secant has no end points as it is a line and the figure shows the secant ab of a circle with center c hopefully it is clear to you next topic is sector it says that a sector is a region of the circle which is enclosed by an arc and two radii of the circle two radii of a circle meeting the circumference at two points form two sectors one smaller and the other larger the smaller sector is called the minor sector and the larger sector is called the major sector hopefully it is clear to you now question number 3 of exercise 9e e says that draw a circle with radius 4 cm mark the center a minor sector and a major sector draw a secant through the major sector now students on a piece of paper first of all mark any point o now through this point o we will draw a circle now take your compass and your ruler and open your compass 4 cm after opening it put your compass at the point o and draw a circle now after drawing the circle it is written that mark the center now here in the circle this o is the center of the circle now after this you have to mark the minor sector and minor sector 
is a region of the circle which is enclosed by minor arc and two radii of a circle now first of all mark the radii mark the radii and here i am marking oa and ob oa and ob as the two radii now minor sector minor sector will be this region because the minor arc is ab so this is the minor sector and you have to mark the major sector also and major sector is a region of the circle which is enclosed by the major arc and two radii of the circle and here the major arc is this this hole this hole is a major arc right and this is a major arc these are the two radii so this is the major sector of the circle now it is written that draw a secant through the major sector and secant is a line passing through the circle intersecting the circumference of the circle at the two points so this line which i am going to draw now this line is touching the circle at the circumference so this is the secant so l line l is the secant of the circle hopefully it is clear to you next is question number 4 and it says start from the figure name the radii of the circle now students you know that the distance of any point on the circumference from the center of the circle is called the radius of the circle and radii is the plural of radius so you have to write down all the radius shown in the given figure and the radius are op on om and oq now write this op on om and oq next is name the diameters and you know that the diameter of a circle is a line segment which has its end points on the circumference and passes through the center of the circle and here the diameters are this line segment pq as it is passing through the center of the circle and its end points are touching the circle and second diameter is m n so write down write down the name of the diameters name of the diameters are pq and m n now third point says that name the chords and you know that a line segment joining the two points on the circumference of a circle is called a chord of the circle and here the chords are first is mq right second is mn and the third is pq and students we know that diameter is also a chord and diameter is the longest chord of the circle now write down all the chords write down all the chords there are three chords mq pq and mn hopefully it is clear to you fourth point says that name the smallest chord now students in total you got three chords and out of those three chords two are the diameters and you know that diameter is the longest chord so the third chord which is left that is mq that is the smallest chord so write down mq as in topic answer. is types of circle and the first is concentric circles two or more circles drawn with the same point as their center are called concentric circles and the second is intersecting circles two circles drawn with different points as their centers and which cut each other are called intersecting circles hopefully it is clear to you
Now question number 7 says that draw two circles with the same point O as center and radius 3 cm and diameter 8 cm. What are these circles called? Now students radius of first circle is 3 cm and diameter of second circle is given to you that is 8 cm. So this means radius of second circle is, will be equals to half of this uh, diameter that means 8 cm divided by 2 and on solving it you will get uh, 4 cm as the radius of the second circle. Now on a piece of paper take O as any point. Now take your compass and ruler and open your compass 3 cm, 3 cm firstly. Open your compass 3 cm. Put your compass at the point O. Put your compass at the point O and draw a circle. Now students again take ruler and compass and open your compass 4 cm this time and after opening it 4 cm put your compass at the same point O and draw a circle. Now after drawing the circle what are they asking you? They are asking you what are these circles called? Now students you know that two or more circles drawn with the same point as your center are known as concentric circles. So these circles are called these circles are called concentric circles. Hopefully it is clear to you. So students with this our exercise 9e is over. Now pause your video and note down your home task and in your home task you have to do the remaining questions of exercise 9e. For any doubts and queries you can leave your message in the comment section. I hope you like the video. Thank you.